Hey, procrastinators. Today I am participating in another Team Tiny video hop, and I made some marbled water color flowers. And this kind of happened by accident, but I thought it turned out rather cool. So we are starting with some Fabriano hot press watercolor paper in 140 pound, and I'm stamping the wonderful florals by Concord and Ninth in Gina K Amalgam Ink because it is safe for watercoloring among other mediums. And so we are going to be watercoloring these with my Hydrus watercolors by Dr. P.H. Martin. And I had some problems with this. This has been a very rough week or so with technology. So you may notice if you have a keen eye that the piece that I will be watercoloring here in the beginning of the video is not exactly the same as the finished card and that is because the footage of me watercoloring was um, no good. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Uh, my autofocus freaked out and so I redid the watercolor portion or at least a few of the flowers here just so I could have good footage for the video. So how I ended up doing this, it was an accident to begin with. <laughs> I was trying to do a wet on wet technique where I dropped in um, the first color of water coloring, or the first color anyway, <laughs> of the watercolors. And then I was going to drop in a second color in the middle. And I don't know if I didn't have enough water or what, but the second color ended up actually just staying as a big blob in the middle of the flower. And so I was like, well, that's not going to work. So I pulled it out from the middle and I ended up with this neat uh, marbled look. And you're not going to see it in the video here <laughs> of how I did that. But um, so I was like, wow, that actually looks kind of cool. I wonder if I can replicate that <laughs> on the second flower. Um, it didn't really actually replicate the same way. So then I'm like, well, how can I make this work? I, I kind of want the marbled look now. So as you can see here, I had pulled the, I had covered the whole flower in one color and then I just kind of dotted it in and then kind of swirled it around and, and made it kind of marbled look looking and it actually turned out really cool. And so that's how I ended up doing all of this. The trick is though, is that you need your first layer to be wet enough that the, that the water, when you drop in the second color, it'll kind of move and mix but you don't want it to be so wet that they mix together and make a whole new color. You know, like, like blue and green or blue and yellow make green kind of thing. You don't want those two colors to mix and make a new color. You want them, you want them to mix around and kind of marble, but you don't want them to completely mix and make a new color. So as you can see, I'm popping up the colors on the screen here for you. And I'm only going to do a couple of the flowers. I did the whole piece this way. I did the greenery and everything in this exact way that I covered in one color and then I dropped in a second color. And I started with the the darkest color and I dropped in the light color and kind of mixed it around and that's that's what I found worked for me. Um, you may find if you want to do this it may work a different way for you if you want to do the light color and drop in the dark color or whatever but I found that the doing it this way worked best for me. Um, when I dri dropped in the light color and did the dark color, which is what I did here on this bottom left one that I didn't show on screen. I didn't like the way it looked. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I just didn't like the way it looked. So while I'm finishing up this last flower, I just want to take a minute to talk about Team Tiny. We are a small group of YouTubers that have a thousand, a thousand subscribers or less, not a thousand channels. Oh my God, that would be a uh... A chore. Anyway, a thousand subscribers or less. So that means that we are not monetized and you won't have to sit through commercials on our, on our channels or our hops. And so the main purpose of this hop is to help our small channels grow. So we would greatly appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and share our videos. Uh, that helps us greatly to get noticed through the YouTube algorithm. Interaction on our channels is a is a great way for YouTube to know that our content is great and that it will suggest it to others. So uh, in order to hop along, all you need to do is click on the hashtag in my description or my title, which is hashtag team tiny spring flowers this month. And once you click that hashtag, it will bring up all the other videos that the, from the creators participating in this hop and you can binge away. 
you don't want to miss what they have in store for you this month. It's really great. So we are just going to finish up this last flower here. I am just adding a bit more color and I believe that this one was a little dry by the time that I added the first layer. So I just wanted to add a little bit more color and a little bit more water to it before I dropped in the last color, which was Crimson Lake. And then I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit and we are going to call it a day on the watercoloring at least. Um, oh, I did want to note that I did uh, heat set all these as soon as I was happy with the swirling around of the color. I didn't want the watercolor to keep moving while it was still wet. So now we are actually switching to my finished piece here, <laughs> which was the first one that I made. And I am just uh, stamping it again because the watercolor kind of faded out the black lines or covered it up a bit. And so do keep that stamp in your stamp positioner. Um, I do have the coordinating dies for this stamp set, so I cut the wonderful word out of some wood grain paper. I thought that it would kind of go nice with this floral piece. So I cut it out of some wood grain pattern paper, and then I also cut it out of some 80 pound Nina solar white cardstock scraps that I had. I cut it out, I believe, like three or four times and stacked it up here to give it a nice dimensional look and stand out from the background. Now I've got a Alta New Quilled Elegance stamp set. I'm going to stamp that on the inside of my card. It says, uh, uh, oh geez, what did it say? I think it was sending you sunshine. That's right. And I took a couple of the individual stamp, uh, individual flower stamps. If I can talk today, that would be nice. <laughs> individual flower stamps and I'm uh, putting them in there on the inside because I do like to finish my cards off on the inside. And I'm going to stamp those with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Make sure they're nice and crisp and dark. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I do like to finish the inside of my cards, not only because I like them to be uh, somewhat pretty, but I, I'm not a woman of many words. So if I add a little extra to the inside of my cards, they don't look so big, blank, and white. And then I took a little black piece of cardstock here and then I'm going to finish off the outside of my sentiment. So it says, uh, have a wonderful day. And we're going to cut those out with the, oh no, <laughs> we're going to heat emboss them with white first. I used Ranger, uh, Ranger white embossing powder, I believe. And uh, so I just covered that with my uh, anti-static powder tool. I'm going to put some white embossing powder on it and I'm going to heat set it off screen. And then I brought out my, my favorite thing, slanted sentiment strips and cut those out real quick. And then we're going to pop them up on some foam tape. I use the x -Fasten foam tape, which I get from Amazon. And I prefer this foam tape because it is cheap for one and because it is acid free and some of the other foam tapes that come on a big large roll such as the scotch is not acid free and uh, i do actually have people that keep my cards so i like to use archival quality items when i can so that's why i choose it uh i'm curious to know if uh anybody here you know chooses to use archival quality items only because people keep their cards. So let me know down in the comments if, if that is a concern for you. If you, you know, have to use, you know, feel like you need to use archival quality items because people keep your cards. So yeah, we're just putting, popping up the foam or popping up the sentiment on foam tape and that will finish the card. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed my card today. And don't forget to hop to the rest of the creators in the hop by using that hashtag Team Tiny Spring Flowers, which you will find in the title of my title of my video in the description box below. And as always, I hope you have a great day.